So when it comes to this idea of uh, imagining that things are fulfilled, I think a very important word that Neville uses all the time is already. You know, in the in the book at your command, and I don't I don't really write notes on these videos, so I'm just going off the top of my head. And I just woke up, so my voice might sound deeper. But he says that we should view ourselves as already being loving, already being good, already being these things, that they're not things that we have to uh, achieve or acquire inside. So I think when he uses the word already, it really pins you against your, as I said, your organs, because your eyes will tell you no. But when you think in terms of already being it, in my opinion, I think that it forces you to go beyond your senses. And I think that it will make you want to go beyond your senses because you will feel uh, a deep fulfillment in that word already. And it's not the word, but it's just what it implies, right? You are already, um, whatever it is that you're desiring to be, because you can imagine being it. And when I'm not speaking to the outer man, but you, the inner man, can imagine being it. You can imagine actually being that already. You don't sit there and imagine every night to try to become it. You fall asleep in already being it. You know, when Neville gives an example of wanting to move into a home, he told somebody, sleep there tonight. He didn't say, imagine sleeping in that house so that you can get it one day. He says, sleep there as if it's already there, as if you're already there, as if you're already in that bed, as if you already own the house. So it's about the scene, if you will, if you want to use a scene or the audio, implying. It's all in the implication of things. Because the things themselves don't really matter, but it's what it implies about you. And you can change the audio inside your mind to hearing good things. I had someone ask me recently, they said, they asked me, how I want to make videos as well, speaking about Neville, but what should I do as far as uh, how should I imagine about my audience? How should I, how should I, what should, things should I hear uh, in regards to my growth in my um, either YouTube channel or just like him lecturing? And I said, this is what I do. I actually do what Neville does when he said that eavesdrop on people he, uh, speaking good things about you. So in my mind, I, I, I developed a habit just from early on. Um, I actually did this as a child uh, before Neville. And that's kind of another reason why Neville spoke to me so deeply because I really resonated with the idea of imagining beyond your circumstances. I think that everybody who really wants to understand this, I think you've come to a point maybe where, at least this is what happened to me, I felt like I was suffering really bad. And I really couldn't handle what my eyes were seeing anymore and what they were experiencing, the things I was hearing with my ears. And I didn't want to escape, but I wanted to at least go beyond it. I wanted to change it. Um, and I have, I have successfully changed a lot of the things that my eyes have seen for years. I see different things now and I hear different things now, but I did this through already feeling that I hear these things, that they already are so about myself. It's about the self. So when, I, when he asked me this question, I told him that I do the eavesdropping. Um, it's not really a technique. It's just a way I imagine. It's just a, to me, it was something I've always done. So I will purposely hear other people, and I don't know them in my mind, but I just hear other people speak about um, my teachings are wonderful. They, they help them out, or they're brilliant, or they're insightful, or they're mind-blowing, whatever it is. And I, I seem to always just receive that message back, but I've been doing that for a while, and I don't do it as often anymore because I don't feel like I need to, but I do it for fun sometimes. Um, so I told him you should really start hearing, just just hear it um, and take the attitude of listening, uh, the attitude of receiving. Really don't just repeat affirmations for the hell of it to just uh, hear your voice. Really listen to what you're saying. Um, truly, I, when, I, when I eavesdrop on people saying how... Um, wonderful they like my, or how wonderful my teachings are. I just listen and trust it. I really like pay attention to what they're saying. And I, and I can't help but I just have an emotional reaction to it. And I just smile. 
And I think this is something you can utilize in all areas in your life. Um, so I don't always do just like a scene because I think what happens is that when you try to do what happens that instead of feeling that you already are it or you're creating um, either audio or scenes to imply that you already are it. I think what happens is that we meddle in the middle and we try to create the perfect scene or create the perfect audio. It's about what it implies. Um, so when I, I want to hear that my teachings um, are insightful from Neville's teachings. I really want to hear that, so I do. Um, but it's me, the inner man, who wants to hear it. So I want to hear it inside. I, it's all about the inside. It's learning how to not look inside yourself and see that there's still four months into harvest, but really looking inside yourself and seeing that it's already ripe. Learning to, to see and hear the good news um, about yourself or about another. But I would say first start with self. Try to understand that when you imagine, um, you're imagined to imply something about you. And it's, the implication is that it's already that case. It's already the case. It's not like you're trying to get to the desire. You're trying to imagine to achieve the desire. The desire is already done. It's just you're now hearing confirmation. It's just the, confer the, the, the confirming either audio or scene. And when you do it just to simply do the imaginal act, just to do it, because um, you're going to imagine anyways, if you just do it, um, for the sake of it, or just n to not try but experience it, um, again, that is another way to become free inside. Because I do think that if you are imagining to try to make things so all the time, instead of feeling that it already is so, when you try to make it so, you're going to have a nervous breakdown. You're going to, because you're so externally focused on it becoming so, that you're going to be clutching your hands, you're going to be hoping that it happens you know there's so many times where i just thought well, what if it doesn't work and what if it doesn't work but i didn't i didn't really yield into already being it i was focused on yeah okay i imagined it but how do i know i'm going to get confirmation because i thought my confirmation always was for my organs but confirmation is not just for the organs it's it's for the inside i confirm it within myself and i become my own witness to my own confirmation or to already being it so when I make videos uh, or these teachings, I feel that I already spoke something good, something of value. Even though I didn't yet, I just assume it. I just assume it to be the case. And it's truly an ignoring of all the facts. I, don't, don't get me wrong. I have, um, I will have certain insecurities that come up. What if I say the wrong thing? And what if I, but I, all of that to me, completely removes itself the moment I feel like I already have done it. I don't think about my insecurities as much anymore. And if they do pop up, they're so it's so easily dismissed now because I'm the one doing it. Right? I'm the cause of my own wealth and my own poverty. I'm the cause of the good and my own bad. I'm the cause of me being violent or me being kind. I'm the cause of these both. And I accept that I'm the cause of it. I take responsibility inside myself for being the cause of how I am inside myself. You know, there is many, there are many rooms to us, and we can neglect certain rooms. We can feel like we're not, um, as Neville said, some people are embarrassed to go into an expensive store in the mall. They feel like they can't afford it, so why go in it? Um, but Neville says, go in there regardless in your mind. So become free inside. You know, there's all these judgments that come from, that are given to us by either our society or our families. And these judgments, we, we wake up in the mornings and we look to ourselves and we think, okay, it's time to judge myself negatively, um, just like I did yesterday. But we don't have to. We can feel that we already are it. And it's, again, I'm speaking to the inner man, that you already are what you want to be. You already are it. And if you just accept that, you will have a change in your thinking and you'll start thinking from these positions, from already being it. So the already is, in my opinion, such a beautiful word when it comes to Neville's work because it really pins you against your own ideas. It pins you against your insecurities. It, the war is on now, right? The, that's the battle. The battle for um, your own freedom, your own uh, freedom to assume, your own freedom of expression is 
now being called into question because you want to hold on to your insecurities that you've held on for so many years. You want to keep uh, imagining that you uh, lack confidence or that you lack um, brilliance or that, or because you, the way you look, you lack this. Or you, we come up with all these reasons on why um, our judgments or the organs will tell us why we lack something. But if we can just speak to the spirit of man and not his ears, his physical ears, but speak to his spiritual ears, and I want to open his spiritual eyes to feeling that he already is it, um, I think that then a, a new war starts. And now he's in a war against his own fears compared to his own freedoms. And he will, and you will, choose freedom. You will choose the freedoms inside because um, they are available to you. You just... I think it's more ignorance than anything. I think I, I think I was ignorant. I don't think anyone's stupid. I think I was ignorant of that, uh, of feeling that I already am it, of seeing that I already am it. I just didn't understand. I held on to my insecurities thinking that, not. I mean, they didn't help me, but I held on to them because it's all I knew. Who am I without my insecurities? Who am I if I'm not desiring? Who am I if I'm not just... Being a, uh, just having prejudices against certain people. Who am I if I'm not angry at, about this? Who am I? And when we learn to um, have that battle within ourselves, we will choose the alreadys that I already am because I'm the cause of what I am, my insecurity now. Um, I also am the cause of this new security or whatever it is. Or if you don't want to think in terms of a duality, you could just think in terms of fulfillment. What is it that I desire? Think in terms of desire and fulfillment, error and truth, as Neville would say, instead of good and evil. Um, and the truth is that you're the light, that you already obtain the things that you're desiring inside yourself. That desire is, again, from within, and it's the inner man who's desiring, and it's the inner man who can cause his own fulfillment. And that's just, uh, again, that is the law, but the deeper part of you is going to awake. This is, you're dreaming up dreams of society. You're dreaming up the dreams that society has given you that, you know, you, you should, you, you know that you should have certain types, a uh, certain amount of money, certain amount of food. You know that you need these things. So imagine that you have them. Just truly feel that you have them there. From what I've seen from that dream is that that light became us so that we may become it. But, you know, there's a there's an idea. One time I was meditating, and I saw this idea of a of a king, and the king was on its on his throne, and I saw a bird, just like a normal everyday bird. And this bird wanted a worm, and went down and swooped under the grass, and it grabbed its worm, and it got it. And I saw I went back to the king, and I saw this king. It was and he was just desiring more and more power, and all I could feel was that the bird is better off. Because the bird's not sinning, the bird's not desiring. So a bird who has its worm is greater than a king who desires. And the, I, the more I thought about that, um, I saw that, I thought about scripture where it says that even the birds are fed. You know, how much more are you, how much more are you special to God than the birds? And I really take that seriously. I really feel special that the light actually became you, that you, are, you were chosen to have life inside you uh, really feel that you are more important than the birds um, just allow it that if the birds are fed how much more me so but we don't we a lot of us don't take that attitude we instead decide to use this power to uh, cause uh, deep insecurities in ourselves to cause fears within ourselves and a lot of these fears are just externally are coming from the external so if you just learn to let go of the external and um, become interested and curious about who you are within, uh, you will find the same conclusions that I did because all I'm doing is going inward, observing what is so, and then coming back. And what I found is that we can resurrect the past insecurities in ourselves and think about them in the present and experience them in the future. But we can also become, um, we can also let go of these past and present ideas and imagine as if there is no past and present then it becomes more of an already being so. It is so. That's what amen means, right? It is, it is so. Or it's so, so be it. So it, it, it's, um, it's truly a freedom there as well, another freedom that you can take with you throughout your day. Just think about the words already being it and allow it to, you, you'll see yourself calming down. You'll see yourself, your, your 
there'll be a new feeling coming up that springs. And that is, that is the fulfillment that you're looking for. And don't be afraid of it. Um, realize that it already is so, and that's why you're feeling that. So um, I know the last couple of messages have been more spiritual, but uh, I hope that this is more practical, that you actually stop. Um, a lot of people want to just critique Neville's work. They just want to critique it or they want to judge the work instead of actually practicing it or testing it. Really, I want you to be, I want you to be like a scientist and test this. Um, really start to feel. Take like a month or a couple months and just feel that I already am it. Fall asleep tonight feeling that you're... And don't worry about the external. Just say, can I really change myself from within? Can I change myself from the inside out? Can I really do that? Will this have an effect on my life? And how would I go about the change? Well, Neville says, go to the end, to what it already it already is so. It's not you're going to the end to make it so. It already is so. When he wanted to get out of the army, he was already back home in his mind. And he, he said he couldn't help but feel so... This is his saying. I'm not saying you have to feel this or there's a formula to it, but he said he felt very... Uh, joyful and happy be, while he was doing his uh, daily trainings because in his mind he was already back at home. I mean, he was really there. The reality, he said, the reality of me is back at home. So um, the more I, that's a good story to read because he, I love that he says the reality of me. So the reality of me already is it because imagination is my reality. So I, I accept it. Um, I accept it without judgment. I accept my imagination telling me that I already am it without judgment. I don't judge it. Just accept it. You might say, well, how's it going to happen? All these questions, well, how's it going to, I don't understand how it's going to, the brain might ask you, oh, well, this doesn't make logical sense. Just accept it. Um, accept that you already are and allow that to be the change from within. And don't, um, don't think that, um, don't go back to the organs of the eyes and say, well, I don't see it still. I don't see it. Just keep focusing on the internal change. Keep your eyes inward. Really focus that you um, that it already is. So ignore your senses. Ignore the words that have been told to you. And open your eyes and see that you already are it. Thanks for listening.